Hello guys, it's me Zayn, and today I should have 400 orchids by now. Okay, so more than two months ago, I posted a video that I tried to make 100 orchids from one without using cakey paste because there is that really famous video and I tried out the method. I followed the instructions. I had some fun of the spikes so I cut them from the plant and I put those fallen of the spikes into these bottles. No, in this, this is just one bottle. Into this bottle. And I covered the top part with this something, with this plastic sheet. Now we're gonna uncover this. But first, let's check out the video. What should we expect from our spikes which we put into the bottle? So we're gonna check out this video again and we're gonna check out what do we have to do after something, anything happened after a time. By the way, I remind you, nine out of 10 times this is claimed by that woman to be a successful method of creating a hundred phalaenopsis orchids. I really should have 400 phalaenopsis orchids. So here's the video. I am simply sealing the plastic around the neck and I have That's recreated I this greenhouse effect by trapping it the heat and moisture but also greenhouse in the circulation. So let's have a look at one of our already pre-prepared stems and notes. You already have new growth. So after two weeks, I should have some new growth on my spikes. So in the meantime, I'm going to examine this other vase that I have prepared. This is from about two months, two and a half months ago. Two and a half months ago. As you okay. see, we have brand new leaves and roots. The roots are trying to reach downward to reach the food source or the moss. That f***ing moss is not a f***ing food source. <laughs> Done. <laughs> But as you see, this is a brand new growth. This is a brand new baby orchid. At this point, you can remove it from the stem and repot it into new substrates. Okay, let's check out my plan because exactly two and a half months passed since I made that previous video. So by now, I should have something like this in my bottle. So here is my bottle. I'm gonna put in some footage from the past here because after I made this, I made some footage on the way. We can observe together what happened to these stems while these two and a half months passed. A few weeks have passed since I made this experiment. I'm just gonna look at the date and I'm gonna figure out how many days have passed since I enclosed the spikes into this bottle. If we take a look inside, we can already see some developments happening. Look at that white fluffy stuff here. <laughs> That's not good. That's mold. We're gonna take out that one spike which is moldy. We might check out the others and we might see some developments or not. We'll see. So if we take a look inside, well, we can clearly see that that spike there, the moldy one, is already like brown and dead, but the other ones are still green. But I'm not saying that they are healthy since this big spike here this one i can see already some moldy things happening on it and also that other one on the lower parts i can see some things growing on the spike there as well so basically every spike is molding right now except this tiny one here which doesn't show any signs of like having molds on it. Now I'm just gonna take out this really moldy one and let the others be there. As you can see, I have quite a good amount of algae forming on this sphagnum moss. That's because of the light and the moisture which is getting in here. So right now I'm gonna put this back on its original place where it receives sunshine. I mean, it's just bright light, not like dark sunshine. And I'm gonna wait for my 400 orchids to grow here. Let's remove the seal from this bottle. I'm gonna be gentle because maybe we're gonna need this in the future. Well, as you might seen that in my previous video and in these video clips from the past, I had here four spikes. Right now I have here two spikes since the other ones just rotted out. Well, that's a 50% survival success, which is not really close to 9 out of 10, 
but let's continue with seeing what we have here okay they are actually three but one of them is just so mushy i have two spikes here one tinier spike which is this one do you see anything because i don't <laughs> there are actually three notes available on this stem but the third note is right out so two notes but nothing's happening with them so let's put this shit back into this bottle <laughs> while this is the other spike and yes you can see that there i have there something it's a fucking cakey bitch <laughs> so the thing is this was one of those spikes which i put into this bottle upside down the natural growing point of this spike was up here so this was the top of the spike but since there was no clear instruction that i had to put the spikes with the tip with the growing tip towards the upper part of the bottle i just put it there put it in the bottle and I didn't care about it so this was upside down and on the lowest node the lowest because this is the bottom part of the spike on the lowest node it started to create this cakey I have to be honest I'm pretty much surprised and I have to be honest at first I thought this is going to be a flower spike because when it was growing I actually thought this is going to be a flower spike and I'm just too far away getting a cakey from this plant well you can see that this is rather a tiny cakey we have a really tiny leaf here and then a bigger leaf here and the next leaf is just growing in the crown of this tiny little cakey here as we go down and we observe these other notes on this spike we can see that there is nothing happening with them at all and the bottom part which is in the water most probably it's kind of rotting but not really it's like holding on really nicely and i don't know why is this spike not running out in that super super humid environment but whatever so here i have this cakey the same amount of time passed since i made this bottle and after two and a half months according to the video i should have more bigger leaves and at least three roots which are going down and searching for the food in the food source which is claimed to be the moss but that's just stupid what is the conclusion do we have here 400 orchids 400 keikis well i don't think so i see only one i used up four spikes and from the four spikes two of them rotted out which is a 50 percent success and it's really far away from being nine out of ten and also i have only one keiki and if we count with only this spike only one spike do we see here a hundred keikis because i see only one since we know orchids we know that orchids can create keikis sometimes you get keikis sometimes you can get a branch a new branch of a flower spike if you leave these spikes on the plants since we use this method it should be more successful than this so maybe i did something wrong maybe all of my other spikes were that one case which are not nine out of the ten cases when keikis should be produced and maybe this is not even the part of that nine out of ten cases because i should have here a hundred orchids and i see only one after two and a half months this is far away from having three roots so i'm not gonna take this keiki off from this spike so i'm gonna leave it in the bottle and i'm gonna wait for some new roots and some bigger leaves to appear because if i would just cut this off it would die and this experiment would be a shame and would be a bad experiment i'm gonna put this spike back into its place and wait for some roots to appear i'm gonna cover it again and i'm gonna wait for some things to happen so the conclusion is she's a liar and the clickbaiter because how to make a hundred orchids from one without cakey paste well this is really really questionable i mean nobody ever made a hundred orchids from one without cakey paste with experimenting with only one spike even in this video this woman didn't get a hundred cakeys only one so she's a f***ing liar <laughs> this experiment can work I mean it worked for me but not in a way that she actually explains 9 out of 10 that's stupid 100 orchids from one that's stupid too without cakey paste well that's not stupid because it happened 
But still, the sphagnum moss is not a food source. <laughs> I was thinking to continue this experiment without this plastic on the top so it's just not wrapped and the humidity is not trapped inside. But you know what? I'm gonna continue like this because this is how I should continue according to this video. So this is what I will do. I will leave this here and wait for some new roots to happen and some new leaves to happen there. And if it happens, we're gonna repot it together or transplant it or whatever. So this is my video for today and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, click on the like button. You can leave a comment down in my know it all section below. Also, you can subscribe to this channel. You can subscribe to my other channel and you can watch all my other videos, which are the first part of this video or not. <laughs> this was just a stupid sentence. Follow me on Instagram and stuff like that. See you next time. Bye, guys.